Welcome to World of Warships. I'm Red Sorax. Today I have a double gameplay of the Tier 6 British Destroyer Jarvis. And they're both really quick. And here's my commander. Level 14. My inspirations. And it's a double stealth build like I use on all destroyers. We have domination on neighbors. I'm in a division with two of my mates. Beast Mode, 50-50, and Bantha Fodder. Again, if you ever see one of my live streams, you're definitely going to see Bantha Fodder. So we're holding the seaside. And really, this first clip is just to show you something you really should never do in a battleship. More than it is to do with my gameplay. <laughs> you are... Uh, you should never ever do this when you're in a top tier battleship but I'm gonna go ahead and push the uh, sea cap we take a bearing on the Iowa tell my teammates what's going on with him we have two destroyers on the other map and we take a gander at the map to see what they are Yudachi and Akatsuki They can both outspot me, but neither one of them can outgun me. Now we see an Alabama and an Otago, so we know seeing these three ships immediately means we don't have any destroyers on this side of the map. Now I'm taking tracks, and I notice that this Iowa is turning in, or turning out, but he's putting an island between himself and me. Not the island you see between us, but the one behind him. Meaning if I fire these torpedoes right down this track, he can't turn out. And if he turns in, he's going to turn into him. Now let's see if he goes straight, or if he slows down or turns. In the comments below, put your bet. <laughs> I honestly could not believe this is going to happen, but yes... You see what battleship captains are like. And they're just going straight on track. Now we're contested, so we have a another ship in the base. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Devastating strike. Sixty-seven thousand damage to him. And first blood metal. And when you're in a battleship and you're driving straight lines and you put islands between you so you can't turn away, that's what happens. Now the Satago is going to come around the island here. And he's on the verge of spotting me, but I'm actually spotted by plane. So I take a bearing and I pop smoke to hide from it, even though the plane stopped spotting me. And I tell my teammates to focus on the Satago. And wouldn't you know it, bam, bam, and I'm shooting at him to help, and bam, gone. That's what happens when you got good teammates. Battleships covering the, cru uh, covering the cruisers, destroyers going in, and you notice I get out of my smoke so I can spot for my teammates again. When you're in a destroyer, you are the eyes for your team, and if you're sitting in smoke, you cannot give vision to the team. So we have a York here, and I'm concerned about him pushing. So I put out some torpedoes towards the Alabama, and now the York seems to be on the same track. I spread him around a little bit in case he speeds up, in case he slows down. Now this is not pulling a Gary, this was an actual intentional beaching there to back up faster. And that one torpedo looks decent on the York and I'm calling my friends onto the York right now. Again if my friends and battleships can knock you, uh, cruisers out, that gives the, ba the destroyer ample time to run. Now, I thought this torpedo was going to hit, but if you look at that, whoo, he missed that one by the skin of his teeth. Now, that's my friends. There you go. 
Colorado, and I was just saying in the last video how Colorado can't hit nothing, and he smacked that ship too. <laughs> I swear he must have uh, sacrificed a virgin on the altar of the Colorado. So I've got one torpedo left in the tube, and this guy looks like he's not going to run the he's going to run the same track. So I'm going to put a torpedo out, let him run into the bow, and if you hit a uh, ship in the bow. There is no torpedo protection there. You will always get a flood on the bow or the stern. And just as soon as I think it's going to hit, bam. <laughs> Beast mode knocks him out with the collie again. And here's a look at the result screen. Not too bad. Not too shabby at all. Top of the list. Beast mode down four. Bantha is a little bit further down, but we still did well together. And we're looking for the profitability. And I was flying a double credit booster. Up, oh, didn't have long on there. So now the next game, same map, but not domination. It is now a standard battle. And we are on the absolute opposite side of the map. From where we were on the last game. Now I have a Udachi and a Benson up against me in this game. The Benson can outshoot me, but I can outspot him. And the Udachi can outspot me, but I can outshoot him. So, again, rush to the middle. Get, it, get the spots out for your battleships. And this is going to be rough for my guys because uh, they are facing bigger guns on the other side. We're all tier 6. And of course we get the tier 7 John Bart against us. That's no big deal. Now we got the Collie on the other side. And I'm not too worried about the Colorado unless it's, apparently it's in beast hands because he can hit with it. and I never seem to be able to hit with that thing. <laughs> so take a bearing on the Colorado. He looks like he's coming forward. And I'm going to try and sweep around. Since there's no base to capture, I can't tell if somebody's pushing from the other side. So... I've got to keep my head on a swivel here. Take a bearing on the Gnizen. I tell them that it's coming over to support them. And I can tell on the map that the Sharn Horse is going the opposite direction. Now I'm spotted. And it had to be a destroyer. So here we go. Guns out. He misses his first salvo. I don't catch a fire. Hit my second salvo. Now you know he had to fire torpedoes on me. So let's skinny up. Turn in. Here they come. And if you couldn't get any closer on these. Whew. Yeah, that's how you drive, gentlemen. Now my job is to take this Udachi out. He's, the, he's very dominant. And I come after him with my guns. He's on fire, which is keeping him spotted. Now he stopped shooting his guns because he wants to go invisible. And my thought is right here, this guy was so scared of me that he ran right off. Now I'm spotted and I've got to dump some smoke here. Now British smoke does not work like any other smoke screens on the other teams. They're very short duration bursts. It's already done out. You get about three puffs out of it. Use it just to put smoke between you and whatever sees you and turn away. Now I took a bearing on the Colorado and if he goes straight he'll eat those. Let's just keep him honest. Now I want to hunt this Udachi because he's the deadliest thing especially to my division mates. My division mates are bow tanking two battleships. The last thing they need is a pesky destroyer putting torpedoes on them from the sides like I did to that Colorado. Now you can see that Colorado changed out his direction. But the Jean Bart is moving forward. Maybe we can catch one into him. 
And I'm thinking maybe this Yudachi came around the island. And I'm keeping my guns up. I'm running my sonar so if I, I can get eyes on him before if he's around the corner of the island. I'm actually using sonar to hunt him. Keep getting around the side of this island. Nothing going on. And I'm actually baffled here. Because now I'm where he was when he disappeared. And I would have spotted him on the other side of that island. So, actually I was kind of scared he was heading for my division mates. Look out in that direction. Take a bearing on the Gnizen now. He's way out of range. Take a bearing on the Kali. He's out of range and they're heading away. And take a look over at the Jean Bart. See what he's doing, but my division mates take him on. And the worst thing that Colorado could have done is left that Jean Bart. He left that Jean Bart to die. And there, my division mate in the Colorado took out the Jean Bart. Beast really is strong in a Colorado. Now I'm running in and just keeping a bearings running on these ships, seeing what's going on. And the Gneisen is actually steaming off backwards. We just lost our first ship. I'm thinking maybe that Udachi headed towards their base with their, with their team. And now I see the Gneisen is still steaming in the same direction. And I just put, just to keep them honest, put some torpedoes down a track. One, two, three, and four, five. And then I take a bearing on the Colorado, see what he's doing, and if he drives straight. Now, this is a good Colorado driver. He has turned three times. And there we go. Five out on the Colorado. Keep our distance away. Look at the mini map. See that I'm about to steer into the Colorado. If he were to turn this way, I'd be in trouble. Now I can see he's turning away. Which he did the right thing. He actually turned away. And here I'm looking for the Udachi. I have no idea where that Udachi went. And the color the Gnizen. One, two, three, four, and he's dead. Because he never changed course, never slowed, or picked up speed. The Colorado, on the other hand, turned away. And that's why he survived to live another day. I see a span of torpedoes off to the right. Now the Colorado takes a torpedo from somebody else. Arcagaro. And I talk to the team right now and I say, Hey, what if I take the base? And they agreed, go ahead and take the base. I'm already here. I can't find the Udachi. And I look at the Sean Horst. And they're used, I'm doing the spotting on the Sean Horst. And there's the Udachi again. He's already moved way over to here. So he took out my teammate. So I'm going to start popping some shells off at him. And that, of course, that spots me, but I'm at extreme range. So I get a couple shells into him, one more time, do some incapacitation, of course he's not firing his gun so he can't be seen, and I can, so I pop my smoke to get undetected, last thing I need is a Sharn Horse looking at me, but the Sharn Horse is not moving, now I don't know if he went AFK or if he's just not moving, so I went ahead and put the fish down the the bearing. I really only needed to put one with that kind of health, but you know, what are you going to do? And I add some fire in on this. Just get a little more damage, and bam! Atlanta takes the glory. <laughs> now we're capping, and I kind of make a mistake here because I'm capping, and I've got a good lead. And 
now we have another destroyer that joined me so we are capping two to one they have a destroyer in our base and I'm still worried about this Udachi he hasn't exactly played strong but the last thing I need him to do is pop into the base and then he pops up and I shoot and he shoots now luckily he missed had he shot me he would have gotten a reset and then they could have possibly outcapped us but now we're in and I popped the sonar just because I knew their torpedoes coming and my other destroyer will see it and we will be safe and of course now it's all over but the singing and dancing so whenever you have one person on one team capping you can get two into the their team you can out cap them up to three ships in a base pick up the speed of the capture now I thank him for capping it with me and we own the capture we take the win like I said two quick games battle results screen coming up well looks like I got some missions done <laughs> and we come out nicely top of the leaderboard and 233,000 credits thank you hope to see you next time